Well, this morning, for the first time since her death, a grieving Commonwealth gets its first chance to say a personal goodbye to Queen Elizabeth. Her coffin left Balmoral on Sunday on what was an emotional historic journey through the Scottish hillside. Wake Up Charlotte's Jay Gray has a closer look at the trip and what comes next. Sarah, good morning. And tens of thousands line the path as Queen Elizabeth's coffin left her summer estate. The procession at times slowing to a walking pace, giving those along the way a chance to say thank you and one final goodbye. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth leaves her beloved Balmoral for the last time. The Scottish standard draped across her black oak coffin, topped with a wreath of fresh cut plants and flowers, her favorites from her cherished summer estate. Her son, now King Charles III, calls this winding trip through the Scottish Highlands her last great journey. Framed by tens of thousands, in some areas 15 deep, with flags and flowers drawn to roadsides in towns and villages along the way. Just important to say goodbye. Um, she's been on the throne for a long time. So, yeah. Even as the cortege turns south to Edinburgh, drivers leave their cars on the side of the motorway to pay their respects. While across the UK and Commonwealth, proclamation ceremonies acknowledge Charles III and the start of a new reign. King, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, but right now, affection here is reserved for their queen. She's been that rock, that stability from through the world wars, through the cold wars, through COVID. She was our constant. More than 70 years of dedication and service to a grateful and grieving nation. After lying at rest overnight in her Scottish residence, the palace at Holyrood House, giving the staff there a chance to say their private goodbyes, today's 24-hour public vigil will be at St. Giles Cathedral. In London, Jay Gray, Wake Up Charlotte.